Let's learn about breathing mechanics. Our lungs are always working to bring oxygen to our cells. During exercise or rest, we are always inhaling and exhaling. Let's take a closer look at inhalation. Air enters our lungs during inhalation. Air is a gas, and gas flows from higher to lower pressure. According to Boyle's law, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. When volume increases, pressure decreases, and likewise when volume decreases, pressure increases. So, in order to move air into the lungs, we must decrease the pressure inside of the lungs. This happens when the volume of the lungs increases. The outside pressure, or atmospheric pressure, is at 760 millimeters of mercury. This is the pressure outside of the lungs. The pressure drops when lung volume increases. This happens when the diaphragm contracts, expanding the thoracic cavity. Because the thoracic cavity volume increases, the pressure inside of the lungs decreases. Air then follows a pressure gradient and moves from higher to lower pressure. The pleural membranes help to keep the lungs inflated. There is a visceral pleura which is in contact with the lungs and the parietal pleura, which lines the inside of the thoracic cavity. The pleural cavity contains a fluid that allows the lungs to stick to the inside of the thoracic cavity. This helps to keep the lungs inflated. Also, the inward pressure of the elastic lungs opposes the outward pressure of the thoracic cage, which causes a slight negative pressure which also helps to keep the lungs inflated. This pressure is called intrapleural pressure. Loss of intrapleural pressure can cause collapse of the lung, or atelectasis. Lung collapse can result from pneumothorax, or air inside of the pleural cavity. Deep or forceful breathing involves some additional muscles. These include the sternocleidomastoids, the external intercostals, and the pectoralis minors. During exhalation, the diaphragm and thoracic cage spring back to their original position. This is considered a passive process since no additional energy is used. The pressure inside of the lungs increases and air moves out. Some additional muscles involved in forceful exhalation include the internal intercostals and abdominals. We hope you have learned something about breathing mechanics and see you next time.